What's up guys, hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something completely different. I know I always say that, but yes, this is definitely different than anything I've ever done. I'm gonna be starting my own candy machine business. So the idea came to me a long time ago, probably like when I was like 12 or 13, I've always wanted to start a candy machine. I've always seen so many little kids use these candy machines, so I've always wanted to start a candy machine business basically for six years now. And a couple years ago, we were garage selling and my mom actually found this used candy machine. Pretty sure she got for like 50 bucks, which is a crazy good deal. I know these things cost like 200 bucks brand new. It's completely metal, not plastic. So it's a very good vending machine. And I thought, why not use this and ask someone if I can put it in their store to make some profit? So that's exactly what I did. I DM'd a lot of places over the weekend. I had one place answer and that place is a go. I went to them this morning. I talked to them a little bit more. And then I went to Sam's Club to get some candy for the machines. Now the location is in the barbershop that I actually go to. I know there's a lot of people that go there and there's a lot of kids in there. There's a lot of snacks in there. And I thought this would be a perfect addition to their store. As you see right here, we have M&M's, Sweet Tart, and bubblegum i want to talk to you guys about all the expenses so far so so far the only thing i paid for is a little bit of gas and all the candy the, all the candy together costs 55 dollars and 13 cents and the gas cost about two bucks so i'm at 57 bucks right now and this is not just all the candy i got i also have a pretty much a whole entire box full of bubblegum still i only use like one fourth of the bubblegum i got and i also have a can of m&ms in here I'm gonna refill the machine once it gets a little bit low, hopefully. But yeah, the cool thing on the front right here is it says that there's 850 of them in this box and they all cost 25. So every time you vend the whole entire box, it's 212 bucks in sales. Minus how much the box costs. The box costs 21 bucks, so it's about 190 bucks in profit. But I also have to give 50% of the profit to the owner. I know 50% of the profit is a lot. And a lot of people who do this business don't give 50%, don't give anywhere near 50%. But it is my first time doing this. So I thought 50% would be a fair deal, especially since I'm putting it in his shop. So yeah, 50% yeah, is definitely high, but hopefully I can get that down in the future, especially if I have some more locations. I'm thinking about getting a couple more machines. I have a couple more locations that are pending, so we're going to see what happens with that in the future. I've already washed down the whole entire machine. I did all the math, and I figured out that the average profit for quarter is going to be around $0.12, cents, so I'm going to have to give $0.06 cents of that to the owner, and $0.06 cents goes to me. This is definitely one of the best locations, that I think, in my opinion, but I'm definitely not going to know until about two weeks after I go there and get the change. I'm definitely going to do some change-getting videos where I'm going to go around to my location and get all the change and show you guys how much we made. It's pretty much going to be a journey that you guys follow me around on i pretty much thought this was a great idea to add to the income sources that i have i already have four income sources my main income sources but this is going to be my fifth source of income so that's pretty great so yeah like i said yesterday i spent all my time wiping down cleaning the machine everything's perfect everything's ready to go i even painted the top all right guys like i said this is a candy machine i was just testing it to see if it is 100 percent ready to go and i actually have a little bit of a jam right here i think the candy is too small i'm not really sure what to do i'm kind of new to this but it's still pretty exciting got this to be this is working and this is also working. I've already did some test runs on this one and this one. So I'm thinking of taking the sweet tarts out of this and just keeping it for myself and my family and then putting the rest of the bubble gum into this. So upon farther investigation, I went into the back of the machine and I tightened the thing because I thought this was pretty loose. But the only thing I actually tightened was the thing to turn it. So that's why it was actually jammed. So it's actually my fault. Now I know. Now I learned from my mistakes. And now all the machines are working properly. So I don't have to waste any money on this by taking it out and switching it with gumballs. I'm very excited and I'm very ready to put this in the store. So before I put it in the store, I want to show you guys how it works. I have a key back here. This is what the key looks like. It has three different keys on it. I'm not sure why. I only need two. But that's what the quarter thing looks like all locked up and then as you can see the top opens up and it looks just like that we have the gumballs the sweet tarts and the m m so i'm ready to go hopefully we can start making some money soon and add into the monthly revenue so i'm at the place right now here is what it looks like get the candy machine getting ready to put it inside i'm gonna go inside put it in try to take some videos for you guys and show you guys what it looks like in there then i'm gonna come outside and talk to you guys about it afterwards All right, guys, like I just showed you, we just went to the barbershop and we put the candy machine inside. It looks great. Everything looks super good. And I can't wait to go back there in two weeks and check to see if we made any money. Now, I'm not expecting to make any profit in like the first maybe two months. But after that, it's just going to keep growing because I have a lot more candy left with the $55 I spent. Like I said, I still have a whole entire thing of M&Ms. This was $11 out of that 55 bucks. And I pretty much have three fourths of the bubble gum left. Yeah, I just think that it's so cool that it shows you how much each vent would be and how much the whole entire box of these would be. So yeah, if you basically sell all of these or have like a bunch of different locations that you put all this in, you could pretty much make 200 bucks off of this in like a week if you have like five locations, which is pretty insane. But yeah, I'm really excited to start this business. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any more machines. I'm gonna ask some people in my family to see if I have any more locations possible. And if I have any, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna be ordering some more machines and seeing if I can make any more of a profit. But I think the smartest thing to do right now is to do some more research and learn some more about this business and just to make sure I make a profit out of my first machine before I buy another machine. So I'm definitely going to be doing some more research. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. I got some reviews I'm doing soon. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys for supporting me. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe and stay blessed.